Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nalmar James Gado. And today's video, let's talk about component method in finding the resultant vector. So dun sa nakarang video ko is pinakita natin no, uh, meron tayong uh, four case sa pagkuha ng resultant vector. No? Meron tayong dalawang given a vector. So apat na case yun. So in this case naman, Kung meron tayong dalawa o higit pa ng mga vectors at hahanapin natin yung resultant vector nun is we will use now what we call component method. So this method is used when two or more vectors act as a single point. The origin of the rectangular coordinate serves as the single point where all these vectors originated. These force vector are commonly called concurrent forces. Given vectors normally do not agree with the rules mentioned er earlier. Component method is used so that this type of vectors can be combined. Pero bago tayo magsimula, no, uh, paano nga babasahin ang direction kung meron tayong given na theta? No? For example, okay, this one. Nagsimula sa east. Okay, yung angle natin nagsimula sa east. It's either papunta sa north or papunta sa south. So, una muna is paano bang basa dito? Kung galing east papuntang north, so that is east to north, so ang basa natin dyan is north or south. Okay? So, ganun lang. Nabaligtad lang yung basa nyo. Ngayon naman, kung papunta naman ng south, east to south, okay? So, tatawagin natin siyang south of east. Okay? So, ganun lang yung basa. Baligtad. Uh, baligtaran na. Ngayon naman, kung galing tayo ng south tapos papunta ng west or east, so una muna yung west. South to west, is, ang basa niyan is west of south. So, kabila naman, kung galing south tapos papunta ng east, so that is east of south. Okay? So dito naman sa west. So kung sa west, papunta ng north or south, so una muna yung papunta ng north, So, tatawagin, siya, tatawagin natin siyang north of west. Tapos, papunta naman ng south, south of west. Okay? So, ganun lang, ganun lang din dito sa north. Okay? Kung yung reference natin is north, papunta ng east or west. So, dito, papunta ng east. So, tatawagin natin siyang east of north. So, kung papunta naman siya ng west, west of north. Okay? So, ganun po yung basa, no? Okay, mali dito. So, proceed tayo sa steps in using the component method. So, number one, resolve or break the given vector into x component and y component. It means that the given vector will be replaced by a new vector acting along the horizontal line or x-axis called f sub x and the vertical line or y-axis called f sub y. The illustration below shows how f of x and f of y are taken. So, this one. Makapansin niya, meron tayong dalawang case kung saan, nakal kung saan nagsimula yung angle natin na theta. So, una, if angle theta starts with x-axis, okay, this one, ito yung ating x-axis. Okay, so dito tayo focus muna, no? If angle theta starts with x-axis, okay, so ganyan yung itsura niya, di ba? So, pamilyar naman ko sa x-axis. Then, ito yung given vector natin. Ito yung given vector natin, no? Ito, this one. Okay. Then, yung theta natin, ito, yung angle. So, nakapansin nyo, nagsimula siya sa x-axis. Okay, this one. So, ang component niya, so, meron tayo, ito yung ating, ito yung ating y component, yung f sub y. Then, ito yung ating x component naman, yung f sub x. Okay? Paano siya compute in? Paano siya i-compute? f sin theta for y component and f cos sin theta for f sub x or for x component. Okay? So, ano ba yung f dyan? Ano ba yung f natin dyan? Yun yung magnitude nung given a vector. Ito, ito yung f natin. No? Okay? So, yan yung... Oh, yan yung F natin. And second case natin, we have, okay, this one. Letter B. 
if angle theta starts with y-axis. So, ito yung ating y-axis, no? Okay? So, makapansin nyo, ang re yung reference angle natin doon, nag-start siya doon sa ating y-axis. Okay? This one. Doon siya nag-start. Then, ito naman yung ating given na vector. Okay? So, given na vector. Makapansin nyo, baligtad po siya doon sa nauna. Yung ating, yung ating y-component is f cosine theta. And yung ating x component naman is f sine theta. Okay. Number two, apply sine of quadrant. So example, okay, positive x and positive y in quadrant 1. So kung pamilyar naman kayo sa sine no, ng coordinates natin sa bawat quadrant, okay, for example, quadrant 1, positive, positive. Quadrant 2, negative, positive. Quadrant 3, negative negative and quadrant 4 positive, positive negative okay so yun yung uh, magiging sign natin no kung nasa ang quadrant siya nakalocate yung makokompute natin doon sa sa x and y component okay so number 3 get summation of the components okay summation of x component and y component include signs okay number four find the resultant yung magnitude natin which is may formula tayo r squared is equal to squared of summation of x component plus squared of the summation of y component then number five find the angle so para sa the angle and direction natin we have th tangent theta is equal to summation of y component over summation of x component. So example, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant by component method. So makapansin nyo dito, meron tayong tatlong vectors. Okay? So f sub 1, f sub 2, and f sub 3. So dun mo na sa f sub 1. Okay. Saan quadrant siya nakalocate? Okay, sa quadrant 1. Sa quadrant 1 siya nakalocate, this one. Okay? Sa quadrant 1 siya naka-locate. So, ang, ang automatic, at automatic, ang magiging sign ni X and Y component natin mamaya kapag kinumpit na natin is positive-positive since nasa quadrant 1 po siya. Okay? So, okay, titignan nyo din yung angle. Okay? So, yung angle natin, which is yung 30 degrees, ay nasa, saan siya nanggaling? Sa x-axis. Okay? So, dito siya nanggaling sa x-axis. So, doon sa una, nating example, which is ito. Okay? This one. So, case uh, letter A siya, di ba? If angle theta starts with x-axis, so ito yung formula natin. So, para sa x component, we have f cosine theta and para sa y component natin is f sine theta. Okay? So, ito siya. Okay? So, ito po yung formula ng ating f sub 1. So, we have for f sub 1, we have f, f x, f sub x is equal to 60, which is yung f natin doon, yung magnitude, cosine 30 degrees, and f sub y is equal to 60 sine 30 degrees. So, yung value is 51.96 and 30. So, positive po siya kasi nasa, since nasa quadrant 1 yung ating uh, vector f sub 1. How about vector f sub 2? Okay, yung vector f sub 2 natin ay nasa quadrant 2. Okay? Nasa quadrant 2 po siya. Okay, nasa quadrant 2 po siya. Tapos, yung angle natin is nag-start from y-axis. Okay? Nag-start from y-axis dun sa north, which is 38 degrees. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin, yung case number, uh, yung case B natin. If angle theta starts with y-axis, so okay, sa, sa y-component natin, f cosine theta, then dun component is f sin theta. So, yung f natin doon is, so, yung f natin dyan is 40 pounds. So, we have f sub 2 is, yan. 
f sub x is equal to 40 sine 38 degrees. Okay. Then f sub y is equal to 40 cosine 38 degrees. Okay. So, balik, nagkabaligtad. Okay. So, magiging sagot is negative 24.62 tsaka 31.52. So, makapansin nyo negative yung x then positive yung y. Kasi, nasa quadrant 2 po siya. Okay? Tatatandaan nyo yung, yung sign ng coordinates kapag nasa quadrant 2 ay negative positive. Okay? So, negative positive. And then, next is yung vector f sub 3 natin which is yung 50 pounds. So, from east to south, 70 degrees. Okay? So, nasa quadrant 4 po siya. Okay? So, yung magiging sign natin dyan, mamaya, para sa x and y component natin is positive, negative. Okay? So, yung angle, ay, yung angle na, which is yung 70 degrees, ay nag-start sa x-axis. Okay? So, yung gagawin natin dun, yung case letter A. So, ito po siya. So, f sub x is equal to 50 cos 70 degrees. And f sub y is equal to 50 sine 70 degrees. Okay? So, again, we have positive 17.10 and negative 47. So, negative kasi nasa quadrant, nasa quadrant 4 siya. Okay? Ang sign kasi natin dyan is positive, negative. Okay? Yung sign natin dito sa quadrant 1, positive, positive. Then, yung sign natin sa quadrant 2, negative, positive. Okay? Dito, negative, negative yan. Okay? So, after nun, nakuha natin yung, yung x and y components ng bawat vector. So, kukunin naman natin yung summation ng f of x. Okay? So, yung summation ng f of x natin is positive 44.5. 44. Okay? Pag-aad nyo lang to. Ito, ito, tsaka ito. Okay? Then, ganun din naman sa y component. Yung summation is add nyo to, ito, tsaka ito. So, we have 14.52. Okay, now, para kunin naman yung magnitude tsaka yung angle, and direction. So, yung una muna is yung formula natin na R squared is equal to square of the summation of X component plus square of the summation of Y component. So, we have R squared is equal to we have 44.44 summation niya. Squared plus 14.52. Ito naman yun. 14.52 square. Okay. Then, yung R natin, okay? So, kapag nakuha nyo na yung summation dun sa right side, kunin nyo naman yung square root, okay? Para makuha yung R. So, we have R is equal to 46.75 pounds. Okay? Okay, letter B. So, for angle and direction, okay? So, tangent theta is equal to yan, sum, ng, sum of Y components over sum of X components. Okay, is equal to 14.52 over 44.44. So, that is equal to 0 0.3267. So, we have tangent theta is equal to 0 0.3267. Okay, so for, to get the value of theta, so get the inverse tan, okay, or arc tan of both sides. Okay, so we have theta is equal to... Uh, arctan, okay, or inverse tangent of 0 0.3267, okay, so paano sa calculator, shift tan, then 0 0.3267, so yung ating theta, yung angle natin is 18.09 degrees, okay, so 18.09 degrees. Okay, so makapansin nyo, class, 
yung ating R dito, yung resultant natin is 46.75 pounds, 18.09 degrees north of east. So, bakit, bakit natin nasabi na north of east? Okay? Okay, since yung resultant natin, okay, resultant natin is in quadrant 1 because yung summation nung, nung x component natin tsaka nung y component natin. Mapansin nyo, meron tayong positive na x component and positive y component. So malamang sa malamang class, yung magiging um, yung location nito is nasa quadrant 1 kasi nga positive positive. Okay, positive yung x, positive yung y. So nasa quadrant 1 siya. Okay, so saan magsisimula? From east to north. Okay? So from east to north 18.09 degrees or 18.09 degrees north of east. So, ito yung resultant niya, no? So, ito yung resultant niya is ganito. Pag the drawing siya, then north, okay? Ito yung 46.75. Then, ito yung ating, so, from east to north, meron tayong 18. Point 0.9 degrees or north of east okay okay so try this calculate magnitude and direction of the resultant vector by component okay so try this yung vector f sub 1 natin we have 62 newtons north of west uh, 52 degrees north of west then, yung vector F sub 2 natin, 28 newtons, west uh, 45 degrees, west of south. Then, vector F sub 3 natin, 76 newtons, 34 degrees, east of south. 